What's poppin' people? Zings here bringing you another GTA 5 video. In this GTA 5 video, I'm going over the brand new Progen Itali GTB. So let's get straight into it. Now basically, this video is going to be going over the customizations for the car in only visuals for it. So solely visuals, and we're not going to be going over performance. Now if you want a performance video, please let me know, and I will do some drag races with my friends against it to see how it competes with the other cars. But this video, like I said, is going to be solely for just the customizations now this car has two versions of it it has the stock version and then it has the custom version which is kind of like a race form of the stock version now both cars are very unique and i'm going to be going over both of them actually in fact first i'm going to be going over the stock version and then i'm going to go over the race version or the custom version now you can find this car on benny's original more works for 1.2 million dollars so let's order one so here we go we now have the stock version of the progen itali gtb so let's get straight into the customizations of this version first so basically we are not going to upgrade this version right away we're going to be going over the visuals of the stock version there is quite a few bumpers as i can see these are very very i really like these actually i would describe them as definitely more race style not really street style or luxury style that's for sure moving on to the back oh quite a few rear bumpers as well you can see those are a lot of diffusers and everything basically they're Basically, every single one's a diffuser. It doesn't really change the bumper too, too much. But there are some nice options right there. Let's move on to exhaust. Now, let's see. This has some interesting exhaust right here already. I don't really like the square ones. Whoa! That is definitely very cool. Now, as you can see, the exhaust is right above the license plate. That is definitely very original. And I don't think any other car is quite like that. They're definitely very skinny. I, very, I really, really like that. This is definitely... Oh my god. Holy crap. Needs more exhaust. Look at that. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven exhaust. God damn, that's overkill. But that's actually really sick. You know what? That's definitely going to be the one I would get right there. But moving on to the hood. Oh, there's a lot of hood options. Ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of like just like the stripe. That's pretty nice. And that's very nice as well. Nice little sleek. Ooh, that's kind of cool too. Oh, okay. That looks a lot like the uh, Colquats hood. Damn. So yeah, there's a few hood options on this. That's definitely very cool. A lot of options so far. And this is just the stock version. Okay, cool custom mirrors. Probably wouldn't go for those. Moving on to roof. Let's see. Oh, some cool stripes. Okay, it goes right on the window. That's actually pretty cool too. I would definitely make this painted. That is for sure. But let's go on to skirts. Let's see. Okay, okay. Not that many skirts, but okay, a decent amount. Oh, some cool spoilers. That's for sure. Oh, I like that. That's definitely going to be one that I would get. That's for sure. That one's not bad as well. Okay, there's some cool spoilers as well. That appears to be all the customizations for the stock version. But you know, let's move on to the next. And that is the upgraded version. 470 grand. Whew, for the custom. Let's go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely race. Oh, yeah, that's definitely race. Yeah. Holy crap. So, let's go on to visuals. Let's look at the bumpers. So... Are they like the same style bumpers? Okay, these are the same style bumpers, but... Oh, okay. Oh, that's definitely... That's street. Oh, yeah. Now we got some street. Oh, yeah. Ooh, damn. Holy crap, fans. Okay, okay. That's definitely... That's definitely extreme right there. Oh, boy. Okay. I can see. So, let's look at the back now. Okay. Not as many as the stock version. Wow, okay. That's interesting. I would definitely keep it as stock, like the, the, this stock rear bumper, because I, I like kind of how it has that curve, curviness to it. Is if you can see, the lighting might be a little dark for you. I don't know, but I can see what I'm talking about. We want chassis fenders. Okay. Oh, there's rear and front fenders. Oh, oh, you can change them. That's really cool. Uh, definitely, that's definitely a cool feature. I like this. They're they're doing a lot more work to these cars than they were in the past. But moving on to exhaust, oh man, these aren't as cool as the other ones, like on stock. But I would definitely go for this one, that's for sure. Hood, Ooh, hood accessories. Okay, yep, I see what it is. Okay, okay. I'd probably go for those. And then let's see hoods. Okay, a lot of them are the same. Okay, these aren't the same. Ooh, ooh, damn, extreme. Okay, okay, I see that, I see that. Definitely some, definitely some more interesting ones. I'm guessing that these are all probably the same. And that these aren't very necessary. Oh, okay. 
Yep. Okay, I see how that works. Okay, I just want to see the dials real quick. Okay, yep. Yeah. I see these are these are basically basically the same kind of style. You guys have probably already seen all these. We're just looking for the cool stuff. Okay, liveries. Hmm. hmm. I like that one. That one's pretty nice. But honestly, I kind of like this one the most. Yeah, I kind of like this one. I would definitely go for this one. Probably like a Formula Red or a Torino Red. Maybe whichever one looks better in this pattern. But I like that. I like that a lot. So, let's see. Let's go to nothing on plates. Uh, roof. Okay, let's see roof. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, and then strip. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I would probably go for these. I don't know if I really like this. This doesn't seem like a supercar thing. Probably these. Yeah. Let's move on to skirts. Let's see. We got the carbon GT. Okay. Not that much. Probably more. I think there's more in the stock version again. Okay, spoilers. There's got to be a lot more spoilers. Okay. Oh, there's the one I really like. That's probably the one I'm putting on it. And, uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay. 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 I see. I see. So this is definitely, this is definitely race style. And that appears to be all for the customizations. So here we go. The cars are now completely customized. I just showed you guys the customizations for them, but I spent some time customizing both the stock version and the custom version. And you ready? Voila. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and this is basically what I have done. The one on the left, the stock version, I'm going to make this basically kind of like a daily driver supercar. A, you know, kind of like average low key, you know, nothing insane about it. It looks basically stock. I know I put a really nice McLaren paint job on it. This is what I put on all of my progens. And then we come over here. This is a little wild, as you can see. This is basically a completely decked out race car. You got the carbon freaking wheels. You know, you got the insane exhaust, the spoiler, everything about it is all race. And, you know, completely uncivilized, well, this is more civilized. Now, basically, these two cars are absurd. I am actually very, you know, happy about them. Rockstar did an amazing job making the customizations for these cars, and I am so happy that they did it, because this shows that they put so much time and effort into these cards, because the amount of customizations for both is absurd, compared to, for example, the Nero, which, you know, was very cool, but didn't, it was kind of lackluster in one way or another. But, anyways guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want a, you know, speed and power test, and not just the visuals like I did in this video, Please let me know, because I will try to make that happen. So, just say in the comments if you want that or not, and yeah. But anyways guys, that's it for this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for videos like this. Like always, I hope you enjoyed. Zinx is out.